Maggie Murdaugh is a deceased mom and her husband was found guilty of her murder. Alex Murdoch was also found guilty of the murder of their son, Paul. Well, Maggie Murdoch or Murdaugh, however people want to pronounce it, she's already had some of her stuff sold on Poshmark when her housekeeper slash friend or assistant sold some luxury items. Well now, Liberty Auctions is auctioning off a whole bunch of Murdoch family items. They're really highbrow, high class, worth quite a bit of money. If you want any of this murder memorabilia or family heirlooms, as it were, you better get down to 101 South Industrial Indus Boulevard in Pembroke, Georgia by Thursday, March 23rd at noon. At least that's when registration opens. So there's a bunch of stuff we're going to look at going for sale. I'm about to show you nearly 200 photos and that's not even everything. There's also like hunting gear, I'll show you a news video with more stuff that's not included online. You'll see certain things on Facebook and you'll see a lot of controversial stuff. You'll see monogrammed pillows, the same stuff you can see in Maggie Murdoch's Moselle Hunting Lodge home in her Facebook photos. You'll see that also in this auction coming up. It's been only weeks since the former South Carolina attorney known as Alex Murdoch. He was sentenced to life in prison for Maggie's murder and Paul's murder or Paw Paw, as he called him, which is eerie because that was also my nickname growing up. We're assuming this is part of the family's belongings from their Moselle hunting lodge in Bryan County. It was a huge trial that captivated the world and now a lot of people are interested in this auction. We're going to look at brands like Hancock & Moore, Drexel, Harmony House, Ethan Allen, but don't look for any firearms and no golf carts. Apparently, I believe some cars or automobiles might go up for auction later, but not on Thursday, March 23rd. Everyone's talking about these turtle lamps coming up, but we will learn they aren't made from real turtle shells like people are going crazy on TikTok and begging animal rights folks to try and do something about. Would you buy the couch where Alex claimed he took the shortest nap in history while his wife of many years and his youngest son, Paul, were being murdered? People are asking, is this the Moselle stuff? Will there be anything from the dog kennels from where the murders happened? They're asking about the Murdow Beach House. The way Liberty Auction promoted it is, here's a glimpse into a prominent estate picked up in Colton County, South Carolina. We still have a lot of setting up to do, but we can't wait to see everyone Thursday night. They posted an update. It jumps off basically on Thursday, March 23rd at 4 p.m. There is no online bidding. People are going crazy over that fact. There's no absentee bidding. If you want something, you gotta be there in person. It's not going to be shipped to you or anything like that. It'll be held in the warehouse on 101 South Industrial Boulevard down in Georgia. Anything from a previous auction date has already been sold. They were continuing to publish photos of the items, many, many items, yesterday, which was Tuesday, today, which is Wednesday, March 22nd. I don't know if they're done posting all the photos yet, but you're about to take a look at about 190 something photos. Only a certain lot belongs to the Murdoch family. So the trick is in picking out the stuff that belonged to them and all the controversy we'll talk about how people feel about folks buying and bidding on this stuff and where will the proceeds go people assume it'll go to victims but we have to see confirmation of that how long will the auction take maybe they'll be done by 9 or 10 p.m thursday night but liberty auction admits there are multiple estates in this auction including the murdoch's stuff the auction starts at four but the furniture bidding starts at 7 p.m. It should be pretty hot and heated and full of media and a lot of looky-loos, I would presume. We start different sections at different times, says Liberty Auction, but everything will be sold in our building. When asked if children could attend, Liberty Auction said, absolutely. So that's it. It's a, a sad ending to a sad case. We still have more to wrap up now that we've learned about the Stephen Smith demise being ruled a homicide. We'll talk about all of that coming up. For now, let's just read a very applicable verse. Matthew 16, 36 through 38. Jesus said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world yet 
forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. So we don't want to be ashamed of God or Jesus. He won't be ashamed of us. And I bet Alex would give anything to give away all this stuff in exchange for the life he once had before the cheating, perhaps before the drug addiction, before everything went so left that he's a man now in prison, a dangerous prison with his family heirlooms, his belongings being auctioned off and one son still alive, his wife and youngest son gone. He's got to feel alone. You pray he can find some comfort in these words that maybe one day he will see them again and be able to apologize for what he did. Anyway, take a look at all this stuff. See what you think. What would you buy? Some of it really is gorgeous. Some people think it's horribly ugly and outdated and the price tag it might go for. Wow. Would you buy any of it? Take a look. I'll end here. Thanks for watching. Details about the upcoming auction. It's Thursday, March 23rd, starting at 4 p.m. No online bids, no absentee bids. If you want something, you have to be there in person, like this monogram pillow. It belonged to Margaret Brandstetter Murdaugh, and you can even see it in her Facebook photos. The pillows are getting the most backlash and attention. They have it set up like a living room. The couches are beautiful, and these turtle lamps are getting a whole bunch of backlash. Folks think they're real, but they are not. Well, Low Country attorney Alec Murdoch was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of his wife and son. The family's belongings from their Low Country hunting lodge will be up for auction in Bryan County. In an exclusive look, Fox 28's Isabel Litters visited the auction house where their items are being housed for sale. Here you can see some of the hunting garments from the Murdoch's Moselle estate. Owners say the phone has been ringing off the hook since word got out about the high profile auction, which will happen this Thursday. A lot of the pictures and artwork that you see on these walls um, came from there. I think everything on that wall came from there. To Liberty Auction owner Lori Mattingly, these items are just regular things. Everybody's got a kitchen table and chairs and a, a sofa and a bed, you know, in their house. It's, it's just somebody else's things to me. But to a cult following, monogrammed pillows, a used popcorn machine, and hunting memorabilia could be worth a fortune. People are just going crazy about the stuff that they see. Mattingly says a mutual business associate connected the Murdoch family to her family business. And when they loaded up the trucks last week, someone tracked their logo to the auction house. And since then, she says social media platforms have been blowing up with speculation. Obviously, there's the sofa that everybody has shared those pictures of. Another hot item are the turtle lamps, which, contrary to the apparent TikTok frenzy, Mattingly says are not made with real turtle shells. They're assuming that Alex Murdoch went out and killed all these turtles and made lamps out of them. These are faux. Mattingly says she has her share of concerns about Thursday's crowds, but her staff has all hands on deck to prepare and run the show. We're doing everything we possibly can. <laughs> the team is also doing everything they can to keep up business as usual. I'm going to keep the, the building locked until we open up at noon when I have security here and I'm ready. Mattingly expects a chaotic beginning to the day, but she says auction night will end the same way it always does. And on Friday, she'll start filling the warehouse with another family's old memories. Reporting in Pembroke, Isabella Turst. Now the auction will begin at 4 p.m. on Thursday, but Mattingly says they will start bidder registration at noon. You can find more details on our website at fox28savannah.com. I tried to find these dishes and these animal heads and all the detail from Murdaugh family photos I couldn't. They are marked by their specific number to specify within each piece to know which lot they belong to. A lot of these beds may actually belong to the Murdaugh family. You have to check the actual lot number to ensure you're getting something from Murdoch or Murdoch if you say there's more photos coming. So they uploaded more photos today, Wednesday. What's the lot numbers for the Murdoch, please? A lot of people are thinking they are 335, but I haven't seen that confirmation exactly from Liberty Auction. They start different sections at different times, but everything will be sold. 
I'm not sure if the Liberty employees are allowed to tell people what exactly came from the Murdoch home, from Murdoch Moselle Swamp, and is it only the Murdoch Moselle Hunting Lodge? Or if there's anything from any other properties, we know there are no guns, and it's not clear if there's anything like jewelry or other stuff, but people are joking. They're like, check underneath the sofa. There could be pills or money packets, or you can own the sofa where Alex allegedly took the shortest nap in the history of the South. I've gone through thousands of comments beneath these photos on the Liberty Auction Facebook website, and people, some are enraged. Most people are saying to themselves, oh, it would have bad juju, bad mojo. You can get a free evil spirit along with these items but others realize the value murder memorabilia has to others or even folks who can appreciate quality antique work we're going to look at some of these brand names i looked up some of them and the prices on some of them there isn't just pottery barn and ethan allen we're going to see some other more obscure at least to a person like me who doesn't have all this fancy stuff in their home some brands that go well into the thousands and knowing it's murdoch furniture it might go for double or triple the amount that people may have normally paid for such furniture if it were just from a normal family not from some national or international crime case where folks really stayed glued to their TV during the trial. There's a lot of questions about who's going to get the proceeds of this auction. The fact is, we just don't know who will get the proceeds yet. Some people are saying it will be the victims. Alex has to pay restitution to a variety of people and this might not even put a dent in what he owes. But others are claiming Oh, I don't want this going to line Buster's pockets. Especially people who think Buster may have been involved in any way in the demise of his former classmate Stephen Smith, whose death has recently been ruled as a homicide. Though so I haven't seen an itemized detailed auction list of items from the Murdoch home. We don't even know for sure if this is from Moselle. You have to pay attention to the little lot number, so verify which one belongs to Murdoch if you're sure you want Murdoch property. It's mixed in from a lot of different estates, but I believe a lot of it is from the Murdoch home. You can see the fine details on a lot of cabinets or little secretaries. There's going to be like a popcorn maker thing coming up. It is pretty old-fashioned and high quality. Some people are saying it's not their style. Not all of it is my style either, but some of it is really gorgeous. In the absence of any itemized list of property that I could find, I went through and tried to zoom in on any 335 lot items I could find, which I believe is the Murdoch property. Some of it looks a little beachy and lighter in decoration and coloring. It looks like it could have belonged to the beach property. We know the Murdochs owned many properties and apparently little Paul Murdoch when he was a baby apparently Liberty Auctions allegedly found one of his rattles with his name on it or his initials and took them out of one of the chest of drawers allegedly and attempted to return that to the family. So this could be pretty interesting of whatever the person who buys this furniture might find. I could definitely see someone, especially someone gathering furniture for a movie company, if there's ever a movie. I mean, look at that detail. You can see a lot of animal themes. We know the turtle lamps are a big hit or a big controversy, but I could see someone, if they're styling a set for a movie, they might not mind purchasing this type of furniture. A lot of people wouldn't want it in their homes. They're imagining Alex sweating all of his sweat or his nose running on the couch in this property and some people just don't want it. Others recognize, of course, the value. If they can get a good deal, they go there in person, they buy these cabinets or these chests or something gorgeous, and they're able to resell it for quite a high amount. Recognizing who it belongs to, it could be a great value. Others just find it tasteless and tacky, especially the initialed Maggie pillows. They were thinking, didn't anyone in the home want that? But look at that chaise lounger. You'll see several chaise loungers and we can't assume 
everything belonged to the Murdochs because some of this stuff in here, you will see lot numbers I zoom in on that aren't 335. So if all the 335 lot indeed belongs to the Murdochs, then the other lots may have belonged to someone else. Like this beachy type looking couch and chair. We don't know if that's really Murdoch or not. Perhaps it could be. A lot of people don't want it in their house. They don't want the notion of a horrible crime happening nearby this furniture or the perpetrator who's now in prison of the crime the thought of him sleeping on this furniture or purchasing this furniture by robbing and scamming others it just doesn't sit well with people but like liberty auction said you know it is just furniture we do have beds and we have all these things around us like this light blue color type writing desk or such it reminds me of kind of a beachy feel we know if it belonged to the Murdochs, it was likely expensive and high quality. People are commenting, no wonder Maggie wanted to not stay at Moselle as often and go to the beach house or decorate the beach house, rather. I can't help but think of when Harry met Sally when I see this stupid wagon wheel cocktail table. Well, it looks more like a ship's stern or steering wheel. There are chairs, there's everything, and I don't know why they haven't put out that I can find an exact list, but we're going to look at some exact brands coming up and some estimates of how much they could actually go for. Thus far, I've found about 190 or so photos uploaded if i find any more uploaded prior to the auction and prior to this video being published i will attempt to add them to this video but it looks like it would have been a monumental task for liberty auctions to try and attempt to itemize every single item because it looks like there's so much property that belonged to the murdoch family and people will have to come there you know they have their terms credit or debit card You'll have to be there in person, and I think this sale will be bananas, according to all the calls they're getting, all the online attention they're getting. I'm glad they will have security there because people just take things and run with them, like folks going crazy over the turtle lamps. Folks are tagging different animal commissions places on Facebook without even taking the time to learn that they are fake turtle shells. And even if they were real, like someone mentioned, animals can die of natural causes naturally in the wilderness and it doesn't mean that they were hunted. We have to calm down and realize a lot of things may not be what they seem and not believe everything on TikTok. The glass table doesn't look like it belonged perhaps to the Murdoch family, but you can't be too sure. If you go there in person, of course, you will learn for sure what belonged to the Murdochs and what didn't. Also, I'm pretty sure it will be such a zoo and a media circus. I mean, I already saw Court TV was commenting on it. Other people are tagging reporters. There's already been that Fox 28 news report we watched. I'm sure someone will go live during the auction. Hopefully they will allow folks to record the events as they're happening. I'm assuming this isn't a silent auction and that we will be able to see who gets what, who goes for what. Folks are up in arms that they won't ship items. Why isn't it an online auction they're asking? Why don't they ship? I don't know. That's Liberty Auctions way. Apparently other auction houses might act differently, but I expect the Hancock and more leather sofas and leather chair the monogram maddie pillows to go for the most now this one brand i looked up their website hancock and more very finely quality crafted sofas it's high quality furniture their leather couches look amazing and the thing you know why they are extraordinarily priced is because you don't see a price it's the type of place if you have to ask you can't afford you click on their website and you don't see a price of any of their beautiful sofas. So the main item I expect to go for quite a bit of money would be that living room setup with the leather couches with the monogrammed pillows and we'll even see the carpet coming up. I was looking for some type of Murdoch family crest on the carpet but I didn't see it. These leather sofas are apparently made with some type of wood 
that is very strong. People who have purchased those couches, that brand, say they last for ages. They've only had to have maybe the stuffing restuffed in there when it goes a little flat. And there's the carpet. You can see that same carpet or similar carpets in Maddie Murdoch's Facebook photos. And we don't know if those bar stools or bar chairs or what have you belong to the family, but you can see for yourself when you get there. I expect we'll be able to see a lot of the action live because there's so much attention around this auction. Even though some folks are saying, oh, it should be boycotted. You know, no one should buy anything. No one should bid on anything. For example, this bed looks a little too modern for my thinking that it belonged to the Murdochs, but maybe they had an eclectic mix in different houses or even in the same home of more modern and more antique type of furniture. You never know a person's decorating style. Some of it does kind of remind you of the stuff you might see over your grandma's house. Folks who recognize the true value will likely already be making their way there, making their way there and ready to bid and ready to put down some serious cash. You know the ones who know the true value of stuff. They aren't necessarily commenting and writing all this crazy stuff on Facebook. They are just checking out their funds and preparing to purchase ASAP and preparing to bring it on home or bring it wherever they plan to keep it or resell it or just hold on to it. It might be a good investment piece. I don't know. So these are some of the rugs you can see. You will see the ones that have the 335 lot number on them. And you can see that same rug in Maggie's Facebook photos. So some of it, I don't know if that's their family crest or not, but some of it I do expect to go for a pretty penny. And I hope we can watch it as it's being sold. It would be a pretty interesting auction to see. Now, today is Wednesday, the 22nd of March, as I record this, so it's about 24 hours away from the start of the auction. I mean, you might want to get there at noon if you want to start registering. The doors open at 1 p.m., the auction starts at 4 p.m., and then another at 7 p.m. There will also be cars apparently auctioned off. I think that's coming up perhaps March 30th, if I'm not mistaken. I've been reading through so many comments, all the comments, looking for the ones specifically from Liberty Auction to see their exact answers. But apparently they don't have everything photoed. They don't have everything photographed because in that Fox 28 news clip, we saw photos of animals and birds and photographs and artwork on the walls. And so that's not something I've seen in these Facebook photos. So everything that's for sale apparently is not listed on Facebook nor on the Liberty Auction website. So it's those folks who go there in person who will get to see actually everything. It's pretty obvious we're not seeing all the items online. Maybe they don't have the bandwidth or the manpower to literally photograph every single thing and put every single thing online. But I do like that they have kind of like an old phonograph player. They have some really beautiful items. Once again, we can't lump them all in and assume that everything belongs to the Murdoch family. This Drexel brand of furniture, which I looked up, can really go into the thousands. Some of these don't lose their value. They really retain their value or they really appreciate in value over the years. It's not just like going to Value City or Walmart or picking up some furniture and expecting it to fall apart the next year and decrease in value, putting it on Facebook Marketplace or something. This is totally different. You are going to see cars. Now, there are cars apparently going to be auctioned off. I love this kind of pink, not quite mauve, high back chairs, high back sofas I love. There's Harmony furniture going off for sale here into the thousands. These auctions should draw quite a pretty penny, but don't expect to see the Murdoch vehicles just yet. I saw the auction house confirm that the vehicles would be auctioned, I believe. However, it's not the vehicle that's upcoming, that's Maggie's. People are assuming it's Maggie's 
being put up for sale and Liberty Auctions did confirm in the comments it is 100% not hers. So don't go by what you read from others on Facebook. Some people are just commenting out the wazoo. It gets on my nerves when folks do that. They will comment things as if they are just 100% sure it is something that it's not. Just like the Save the Turtles people who thought it was really turtles in those lamps being sold and it wasn't. You're going to see an upcoming car that someone was claiming was Maggie Murdaugh's. Liberty Auction commented that it was 100% not Maggie Murdaugh's. So we can't assume everything we see here belongs to the Murdaugh's just because it's going in with this same auction day. Obviously other people, and they would only say it was a prominent family. You know, they didn't say the low country, but they did say something like a prominent and county family. And of course, internet sleuths figured it out from the beginning, from when the furniture was being moved over to the auction house. So folks are already planning their road trips, the ones who seriously want to go there and bid on it. I'm sure some people just want to go to be lucky lose. Maybe they couldn't afford to actually buy anything. We don't know if there's going to be like little chotskis and jewelry. The jewelry could be really valuable if there's any going up. But some people might just go just to look to see if there's anything small thing left over at the end of the night. And the auction house says they usually go until about 9 or 10 p.m. So that will be a really long day if they're starting to register folks at 12 p.m. noon. And if they're not getting rid of stuff until 9 or 10 p.m., we don't know how fast it'll go this time. Well, expect it to be a long day. This is the car. It's actually a Mercedes that was in question. Someone was claiming it was Maggie Murdoch's and Liberty said for sure it is 100% not Maggie's.